Hey guys, it's your boy and welcome back to my FIFA 17 PSV career mode. Well, wait, <laughs> almost did it again. I have to, I have to remember, I don't do recaps anymore because I just, it's too much hassle. Anyway, first things first, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Why is the second team playing this match? Good question. Um, stamina. That would be, that would be why. Yeah. Uh, the first team would probably keel over and die. Alan Smith is with me. If I played them in this match. For you today. The match for you today. Willem Tway will play PSV Eindhoven. Chance to have a good look. I'm half tempted. Exactly what on the next FIFA to just go to every single player and give them nine out set of players down there and I can see them because continuing this form all the way to the end players running out of stamina being low on stamina it's really really annoying when you don't want to change a winning team which is exactly what I great do not want to do so far yeah maybe they'd fancy themselves to grab one or two but yeah here, here I am that the strikers have been in De Jong, to take the lead. Now, just over the top I've no doubt despite that mess that the second team will get the job done I don't distrust the second team it's just I had a good pattern going on, and this game, being with it is, kind of just ruins that, you know, good pattern. Looking a problem until the clearance was made. <laughs> Giving the ball away now. Trying to switch on the attacking so... power in this situation. Make it that way you will. That's very good defending. And the player had nowhere to go. I'm not going to be too broken up about it. Because in the end, my backup team are all professionals as much as the main team. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. So I, I think I can trust them to get the position have a chance. I would think I can trust. Oh, he's beaten his marker. Now they've got to defend the corner. It's all about discipline. Alexander Zinchenko. The counter attack could be on here. Come on. Bird. Played into the middle. They Good cross. Well defensively. No one can get on to the end of it. Yeah, however, and direct the goalwards. Great. Result. The visiting team were very, very big winners the last time Cassidy. these two teams met. But no two games of football are ever the same. And of course, this one isn't in the same stadium. No, quite an in shots on here. Ah. Corner given. And here's the header. That's a high-class header and a world-class save. Well, you could argue it was a good height for him, but what reflexes, what agility he showed there. Great job, Mark. Hang on, wait, what? Sorry, I had to just check. I was wondering why my centre-back had piled forward. I mean... Typified the competitive nature of this game that tackle is I kind of game. appreciate it, what he did because on one hand he made the Wait keeper look like fucking idiot an on the other hand nothing and came from it now. here's a chance to counter attack from that wasted cross by the opposition he's coming forward with some danger comes in with a tackle Does this... did I see that guy's name right King Ojo. And there's a score here. 
And that has significance because they're now into the lead. Fucking what? <laughs> That's an interesting name. Like... In truth, Alan, this is what we expect. Yeah. The dominant side. And they're uh, showing like that on the screen. Joshua here, uh, former for expect, but, uh, they've been player's name, King. Here. They played well. And Ojo, of course. Little who's Shea Ojo. But King Ojo? Top of the league by playing like this. Yeah, they, I mean, they've got some top players, haven't they? <laughs> That's an interesting name, to say the very least. Played some good football. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. It goes out wide again. Makes the challenge here. Well, they passed their way up into a good position here. And then just lost maybe the I Maybe I looked at the ball as well. Maybe it wasn't King no, 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 it, it was. It was. It was King Ojo. Good distance to the clearance then. I <laughs> have to learn more about this. Okay, is he anything to shake? Oh, wow, what a great decision. If they don't, hmm? or wait, like, is he is he actually a oh, person of royalty? And he decides, you know what? Instead of ruling, I'm gonna go play football. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a much better use of my time. <laughs> fuck, fuck wherever I rule over. Her, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Like, well, they've been uh, thwarted here. Of course, this is all just speculation. I don't know if he's an actual king. It could, it could just be his name, but this doesn't seem like a first name. You know? I know it's probably not his first name. Actually, out of curiosity, can I? Probably check. To go into performances. So uh, not go here. That's him. Well, something else is coming up here. It says his name is Fu Fun So Ojo. Yeah. And you can all rewind and go back and see. It clears day, said King Ojo. Moving again for the start of the second half. This is him here. See? Challenges for the ball. Just rewind it a few seconds, Larson. pause it just before or I tackle him with Larson. Well. Into a quite a dangerous position now. And you'll see. They've got the ball rolling again straight away. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Oh, the attack has done well, beating his man. Larson, a well saved. Ah. Oh. It'll be a corner. He's got his shot off now. Who Cassidy. Freaking going for glory. He. He forced the save. Which is the first step. Next step would be to actually score. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Good forward play from them. Marino. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got yeah. the winger waiting. Go for goal 2 0. Give me much bigger advantage. Much more of a basis for the rest of this match. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal. And he took it. Sends me on my way. Just like the first one. Claiming three more points. This will actually put me on well, with two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. 
PSV Eindhoven have the ball and want to use it. And at least until they play, I'll be 20 points ahead of Feyenoord. Oh, he's beaten his marker. Sure. To Young. And the goalkeeper has... Make of that what you will. PSV Eindhoven have the ball and want to use it. It was good progress with this attack. Here the challenge is a good one. It'll be a throw in here for PSV. Played into the middle. De Jong. That's a fine hand. Oh, how did I not yeah, score from that? Keeper, you know, he wasn't going to get there. Come on, man. Do better. Part of his game. Well, it was man of just off target. target but I think he's the head off the ball was, otherwise was good. Wasteful pass, unforced error, really. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. We know how many late goals come in this competition. They want another one now. Well, I think we're going to see some, some Route 1 stuff here, Martin, in the next few minutes. Might not be pretty, but I'd be hoping it'd be effective. Come on, chase the ball down. Goalkeeper is ah. <laughs> I thought I got I thought I had successfully taken the ball off this the keeper. How did he avoid that challenge? Oh no, man, that's it's impressive. Like, well it will be a throw. Uh, unless I completely missed him. And it'll go into the middle now. They cope with it well defensively. Which could easily be the case. Ah, oh, the king is gone. He's gone off. The king has left the Free building. <laughs> uh, this game, sometimes it never fails to amuse me. Go. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Position, yes. Go for goal! Oh. Damn. And there we are. The final whistle has gone here. The referee's called them. Oh well. Two 0 victory gets me the three points I was after. Here you can see confirmation of the table. 17 teams have 34 games. So that's. Wait, what? Oh! This scared the shit out of me. I thought I'd gotten a transfer request off of uh, my uh, winger. Or who just played in that game. Hey, and I just didn't realize it. I was like. And. He didn't tell me anything about wanting to leave. I was going to say, that's news to me. Freaking hell. I'd probably already seen that. I like, when was this posted? When was the message posted? It just said no. So it must have just happened. Regardless, it's it's not my guy. It's it's not this guy. That's that's who I thought it was. I was, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of like, wait, what? For a split second, I thought I was gonna lose one of the bright young talents. I. He. Kn Oh, this team contains. I'm 
sure a lot of you will probably he not know this, but uh, I actually used Lars from this team in a uh, in our career. Thermo, it was one of the ones I did. Wait, was it one of the ones? I think it was. No, was it one of my liberal career modes? Anyway, I, I've used him before and I really enjoyed him. And he a uh, very good player. Very good pace. He's good dribble. Ver. He will reverse on the ball. Well, his overall's a little low. Well, I'll admit that. But you know that's not his fault. Clearly, the FIFA and EA just don't see the potential. I think he, he has a bright future. And uh, thank you, Fire Nord. You dropped more points. Thank you very much. That's fantastic. That's 19 points in the other gap. So, 14 games left. 10 games would be 30 points. 14 games is 42 points. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Because 4 3 is 12, and obviously 12 plus 3 is 42. Maths! Yes! And, um. I'm now 19 points ahead, which. Is a different level, and this is going to be a test. Um, twenty three. Yeah. Yeah. So that's still a lot of games. Uh. Wait, is that right? No, no, I, I've done it again, and now I'm getting twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Where did I get twenty three? Twenty one, so that'd be seven games. No? Yeah. 7 3 is being 21. That would be logical. Um. Still doesn't seem right. Because if, if this league were. 30 games. Instead of 34, there'd only be 10 games left. Which would mean there would only be 30 points. I would only need to win four more games. No, no, wait, that's right, that's right. Three or four, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. I say four, I know it's three, but the game won't give me need the league on goal difference. I'd need Fine Nord to drop more points in those three games. If the if if the league were thirty, of course, but being it's uh, so after this game, it will be six games, depending on what Feyenoord do. Are Feyenoord playing? Two two was their draw. Are they playing the same day as me? They are not. 
Uh, fantastic. Actually, that's great. Because... <clears throat> that means I can put the pressure on them. I win. The gap goes to... Over 20 points. In which case, Finor may have just give up. I mean... They don't seem intent on catching me at all anyway, but, you know. As after this game, it will be, I'll be 22 points ahead. I will have a game. Feyenoord will have a game in hand on me. To put it back to 19. Or lower it to 21. Or keep it at 22. Which would be fantastic. I, I wouldn't mind them lowering it to 21. Because that would mean they just drew again. Which would be fantastic. Martin, looking forward to this. PSV Eindhoven today against Utrecht. On to the attack now. The PSV. Put them in front. There you go, that. A little bit closer. Now he's looking for support. In fact, if... Now the shot. That's a good block. If Feyenoord do lose, they'd be 22 points behind, like I said. Providing I win this match, of course. In that scenario, I would only need to win my six games. I wouldn't have to worry about finding or dropping any more points. The only thing that would do is make me win the league sooner. So, yeah. Next couple episodes could be very interesting. I might be uh, really soon deciding well, where I will be going next because I mentioned this in my uh, like on my drug career well because uh, someone had asked me on Twitter um, that I decide my next career mode once I have secured the league title in the current career mode. for the second. Variation, of course. Because obviously, I don't change my Liverpool career mode because it's called the Liverpool career mode. Into the middle. Which would indicate I kind of have to be. Crosses coming in. I'm sure in the end. Otherwise, but it didn't this time. What's the point? This home team have been uncomfortable, home or away. Uh, a massive run that they're on, and just want to keep it going today. Well. You look through at the side and it's I actually want to tell you guys something. I I still have my copy of FIFA 16. Terrific tackle. Right? Um, Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position. And a friend of mine suggested that we load up the FIFA 16 Liverpool career mode. Building steadily. And I would move to a different club. Proper, how the hell did you miss that? How did he miss? How did he miss that? An open goal, and he hit straight at the post. Too much in the way of excuses for failing to score there. No, it's it is a blooper, and a look of it. Regardless, um, so I did. If we we load up the career mode, I moved to Hanover in the uh, German league, and we seemed to have a few years just to see how Liverpool would get on without me. They slowly faded out of the title race. Now, if you guys remember, in a FIFA 16 career mode. At the end, my strike force was Neymar and Ronaldo. Easily cleared. And that's a turnover to the opposition. Shot on. Like, what? 
How did they grow? <laughs> like, they came second. A point behind Chelsea the first time. The first season without me. I said, okay, that's fair enough. They were never going to live up to the expen expen yeah. expectations. Really on top of their game, and they've got themselves to be playing like this. Yeah, they have. I mean, they've got some top players, haven't they? Let's face it. So, some the head in our year. Started buying a lot of fucking bums. I was like, what the hell is going on? So, I went, I signed a player from Liverpool just to see. I like inquired, I, just so I would learn, and it said Brendan Rodgers, Liverpool manager. I was like, so I leave, and the game re puts Brendan Rodgers back into his normal position. Like, what? Was Brendan Rodgers just sitting there? Like, did he become my assistant? Like, what the fuck? How did Brendan Rodgers just happen to be around when I left? Like, I'm convinced he must have been my assistant. Which wouldn't have been good for him at all. Because he would have quit in a week. He would have quit in a fucking day. Never mind a fucking week. He would not want to be my assistant. That's for damn sure. Like... Here, get my dry cleaning, take my kids to school, or do all this shit. It, 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 you stupid moron. Go away. Hey, hey. When you come back with 35 million, you know, the 35 or so million you paid for Benteke after getting rid of any cow, yeah. Brendan Rodgers would not enjoy being my assistant or having me as a boss because I would make his life a living fucking hell. He would quit. He would absolutely quit. I would make it my mission to get him to quit. I guarantee you he would quit. And they cut it out. If he had a brain, he would quit. He would have quit soon as he got told, yeah, you can have the assistant manager job. Like, I always wondered why it never told you who your assistant manager was. It just said, oh, your assistant manager. Wait, are you going to tell me who his name is? Can I, like, I can never... That's, that's one thing I like about football manager. You can, like... You can have your own... You know, you can have, you can iron fire, goalkeeping coach, you scout, everything like that. On, on FIFA, you can only do the youth scouts. And he goes for goal with his head. Hit the bar! So, Good forward play from think of that if, you, if, you're a, if you're a career That's mode player. If you ever wonder what happens to the manager before you, oh, he just becomes your assistant. He doesn't. He doesn't retire. He doesn't go and get another job. No, nope. he becomes your assistant, which would mean that Jurgen Klopp is my assistant in FIFA 70. The man who could be, who could get any management job he wants, if he were to leave Liverpool. You're telling me he would stick around to be my assistant. I mean, I trust Jurgen Klopp as an assistant, but he's way too good to be an assistant. I don't want to hear any bullshit. Like, so this this is just stupid. Like, so it, my friend he 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 does many I career mode. I said to him that. About this. And he's like, so does that mean Jose Mourinho is my assistant manager? Because obviously he, he would put himself he's as the Manchester United manager. So he saved the game. He he, well. he, uh, he moved. And then the following season he checked. Sure enough, Jose Mourinho was back at Manchester United. Coming up now, a corner. And he's just like, 
You just shake your head. You're just like, what the fuck is going on? What the hell is going on? Jose Mourinho would never. Be, he wouldn't be caught dead being number two to somebody. I mean, like, I don't know if he was an assistant manager earlier in his career. I don't. I, I first heard of Jose Mourinho when he came to be Chelsea. I mean, I didn't even know he was the fourth. Good work from the keeper. Good challenge. It needed to be. I legit. Liverpool were not in the final, so I didn't give a shit. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Porto versus, I think it was Marseille or Monaco or something like that. I was like, why the fuck should I give a shit about this? Came in with a challenge. So, yeah, I didn't pay any attention to that. So, no, I, I didn't know. So that, to try and uh, hit it now. Uh, I first met the uh, 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 Chelsea uh, 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 He was calling uh, himself a special one. I remember uh, talking uh, to my uh, friend, he was a Chelsea fan. I was like, this new manager, who the fuck is he? He's calling himself a special one. What's so special about him? And oh, he just won the championship. they really following up to get the chance when it comes off the keeper. Wait, what? So <laughs> then I checked, and sure enough, he was fucking going on the to wait a while to get the first goal of the game. He sensed it was coming. It's finally arrived. Gone out over the touchline. That would be a throw to the opposition. Intercepted well. There's some potential in this move. Until the day he, he, I die, I will never forget him and I talking about the uh, the season last season. We were both talking about. I I had, had, yeah, I was hoping Liverpool would do. Well, get okay, top four finish. Which maybe chance for the league. I was very optimistic back then. Yeah, a lot has fucking changed. <laughs> and he says he could see Mourinho getting them in the top four. Obviously, that uh, didn't exactly happen. He did better than that. Great work by the goalkeeper. I said to him at the end of the season, like, not even at the end of the season, once... It was almost, it was all but confirmed Chelsea were the champions. He was like, "Wow!" Because we had a friend who was Manchester United, and he was all fucking rubbing. I hate his team were the went so well. And my friend, the one who supports Chelsea, he would always say, "Yeah, but sooner or later, later, sooner or later, sooner or later, Liverpool will come back." Like, don't even worry. I'm like, why, you, why us? You're the ones with a new manager. This was at the start of the season. Like, Jose Mourinho had just been hired. Obviously, Manchester. Everyone was tipping Manchester United to win the title. Well, well Arsenal as well were also uh, favorites. But we're also up there. I remember saying to my uh, friend, the, the one who supports Chelsea, I really hope one of our teams surprises me in Arsenal this season. And then when Chelsea officially won the league, he came to me and said, Well, we did. One of us did. I was like, fair enough, good for you. Yeah, believe it or not, I was actually happy about Chelsea win that season. Oh, well, I didn't mind Chelsea winning it this season, to be honest. As long as it's not Manchester United and, and Man City. If it's not Liverpool winning it, I don't care who wins. It could be Spurs, it could be Arsenal, it could be Chelsea. I'll say fair play. Hey, if you were the better, best team in the league. Deserve it. Simple as that, really. So, obviously, that was the case, and yeah.
That's the crazy predicament I found myself in a few years ago. So, yeah, I don't, I didn't know, I don't know much about Jose Mourinho's past before then. So, but I can't imagine him being, considering he's stuck up, arrogant, self and a noxious prick. Yeah, he wouldn't have been a number two at all. And if he was, he wouldn't have enjoyed it. At all. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.